This is Jason from LetHimBe.com. This is one of my new yards that I just started this year. I haven't placed numbers on these traps. They are named, but I, I'm i sorry, they're not traps. They're, uh, they're uh, colonies now. Uh, they're in their too deep stage. Uh, they're all first year colonies. And these were placed back in uh, late May and early June. And I'm just in the neighborhood and decided to stop in and check them. They all seem to be doing well. Uh, all have good levels of activity. There is uh, that single deep box there is just a catch box that I have here in case a swarm would happen to come in. I will be placing one or two uh, swarms of bees that I catch here late season in, in that spot. I'll put them one on top of the other if I catch enough of them. Right now it is the 9th of July, and um, typically if there's going to be failure, they, this will happen during this time of the year. But everything seems to be looking really good. Uh, they're all hanging tough. As you can see, m when I catch them and they are congregating up towards the top of the box near the top entrance, that is always a good sign that there's good populous um, colony in there. These next year will get uh, another deep underneath them and then will uh, be put into honey production. But their only job for this time of year is to get ready and pass selection for next year. This is Jason from LetHimBe.com hoping to try to help other people build selection-based apiary.